<laughs> Hi guys, I'm here. Who's ready to do Sonic with me today? You want to make a circle. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. This is about the same size as a piece of paper, just so you know. Um, so if you have a bigger one, that's okay. Just kind of look at the circle. Look how big I made the circle. You want to leave a little space at the top so we can add this later. Not a lot of space, just enough so we can add this section. Okay. Um, again, you don't want to make the circle in the middle. If you look, the middle would be here. You don't want the circle in the middle. You won't have enough room to give him a body. So make sure when you're placing this circle, it's almost at the top, leaving just enough space to add this part of his hair later. Okay. Also, don't go off too far to the sides. If you make it too big, you won't have enough room to add the spikes on this side, or one of the sides anyway, okay? So just look at the circle, put it closer to the top, make it a, a decent size so we can add his face. So just kind of stare at this while we're waiting for a few more people to hop on. You are doing this in pencil, so make sure you have a pencil handy. You will need a Sharpie, but you are not doing this in Sharpie right now. So I am the only one that's using a Sharpie, so you guys can see the steps one at a time. You are only doing this in pencil. You will need um, a decent eraser. I do not like using the erasers that come on the pencils. I find all they do is leave marks on the canvas or the paper sometimes. So I like to buy the ones that you put on the back. Or if you have like those big erasers that you buy separately. I honestly like these work better than the ones that come on pencils. I do not like eraser of pencils. Pencil erasers, I should say. Okay, and make sure that you have this circle, so get this circle ready so we can start Sonic. And then I'll, I will go over the rest of the stuff that you need. But the only thing you need at the moment is a pencil and a good eraser. Honestly, I just freehanded a circle or I just traced something that I had around the house. Um, that's pretty much how I did it. There isn't anything particular. I kind of just looked around my house, see if I had something that was in the shape of a good size circle. If not, you can just freehand it on a piece of paper, cut it out, and trace that. So I, I would suggest if you're going to freehand, do it, on a, um, do it on a separate piece of paper first. That way you can erase it a bunch of times until the circle is how you like it. And then once that circle is the right way, cut it out with the scissors and trace a circle using that piece of paper instead of just trying to freehand it on the canvas and doing lots of erasing, okay? But if you can find something around your house um, that like sometimes like a candle or the top of a candle, something. So if not, like I said, just draw a circle on a paper. Um, when it looks good, cut it out and trace the circle. And it does not have to be a perfect circle. It is Sonic's head, which is not a perfect circle. We're just making it that way. Okay, so I was going to try to do this outside because it is nice today. I was going to do it on my back porch. But then I went out there and it was like kind of windy. So I'm like, eh. So maybe another day I'll try it outside. But not today. Stuck inside still. Okay, so if some of you just tuned in, we want to make sure we have a circle for his head. Not in the middle, though. We want this circle. If you see the full canvas, you want it to be towards the top, leaving enough room to add this. Okay. You can also do this on a piece of paper if you don't have a canvas. Acrylic paint works great, or you can do crayons and markers, too. You can still do Sonic without paint and a canvas. All right, so we're going to get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the middle of our circle. So put your finger in the middle of your circle. And we're going to make a little oval or a jelly bean shape for the nose. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to trace it. So wait for me, okay? Okay. So in the center of the circle, you're going to make a little sideways oval or a little jelly bean shape. Make sure it's in the middle. So do that. Again, you're only copying what I do in marker. You are not doing this in marker right now. You are only using pencil. And press lightly in case you do have to make a mistake. All right, so we got the little jelly bean shape for the nose. Then we're going to make a curve right above the nose, like a rainbow. 
So like a little curve, like the shape of a rainbow right above the top of the nose. So right there, nice and close. So again, just copy what I do in marker, okay? Good. The next thing we're going to work on is these lines that go on the side. So you want to keep these lines centered. See how they're kind of in the middle of the circle? So after you make your curve, I'll turn this around so you can see. So you do the curve above the nose first, and then we're going to make two lines kind of in the middle of the circle as well, going off to each side, okay? I don't know what's going on back there. Oh, there's Sonic. It's pretty cool. I guess they just, just took like little clips from different Sonic movies or the video game and just put regular music to it. Found it on YouTube. Something to have in the background. Okay, so now we're going to move on to his mouth. So we're not going to do a full mouth for Sonic. We're only going to do a half a mouth. So we're going to give him half of a smile. So just a half smile. So starting kind of, see how it's lined up? I kind of started right under his nose, right there, and then I just made a half smile. He's smirking. I think that that's what you would call that, a smirk. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to work on is going to be the eyes. So you want the eyes to be kind of like right above, kind of a little bit higher than this little bump that we made, and then right over these sections, okay? So I'm going to make two circles. Okay, so make two circles right about there. Don't put your circles up here. Keep your circles low. You want your circles for the eyes right above this area, not too far up, okay? You don't want to be putting the eyes up here. Keep them nice and low. His eyes are going to end up being two colors. The bottom of his eyes are going to be green, and the top of his eyes are going to be black. So we're going to split up his eyes into two sections by making a curvy line. And I apologize if this isn't perfect. I'm going to try to do some of this upside down so I don't have to move the canvas. So yeah, you want to make that a little straighter, but so you're going to make curvy lines inside his eyes because the bottom is going to end up being green and the top is going to be black and then we put like a white dot in it. So mine just did something funny. I went away for a second. I'm back though. I hope you guys can still see me. That was weird. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut my TV off because just to make sure it's not sucking some of the internet. So I'm going to shut my television off. There we go. So now it's going to be quiet and we're not using any more internet except for my phone, just in case. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next part. If you look closely, if you see my pencil line, follow my finger. You're going to start here. Remember these lines that we made that went in the middle? We're going to start on top of that line. We're going to go over the eye, down in between in the middle here, and then back over the eye and land on this line. So ready? I'm going to do that with a marker now. So I'm going to start here on the line. Okay. I'm going to go over the eye. So over. And then go right down the middle, right above the nose, like that. and then back over the other eye and land on that line. Okay, so I'll do it with my finger. So starting on this line, go up over the eye, down the middle, back over the other eye, and land on the line. Oh, it's so quiet now. It's weird. All I can hear is the fish tank. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to work on his ears. 
So we do not want to put his ears at the top of the circle. If you notice where I put the ears, they're kind of off to the sides a little bit. So this one's kind of like pointing towards the corner of the canvas. And then this one's kind of pointing. So we want to leave lots of room in the middle here, okay? We're not going to put the ears on top. They're going to kind of be off to the side a little bit. So we're going to start off by making two really big triangles. And again, mine aren't going to be perfect. I'm trying to do this upside down so you guys can see. But the placement is the most important part. It's not about it looking perfect. It's about putting things in the right spot. That is the most important. So big triangles. And then when you're done making the big triangles for the outside of the ears, we're going to make smaller triangles inside the ears. So make sure the ears are where you want them first. And then go back and add smaller ones inside. Okay? We're not going to work on his hair yet. We need to do his body and then we'll go back to his hair or spikes or whatever they're called after we finish his body. So finish up those ears. We're going to start working on the body. So I want you to just listen first before we draw, stop drawing the body. So there's not tons of room left after his head. Okay, so we want to make sure that when we do this part of the body, that we don't go down too low because then you won't have any room for his legs. And you don't want to make his legs look too short either. And I'm also adding shoes, okay, or sneakers. Okay, so when we're working on this part, which is going to be next, don't go down too low. We want to make sure we leave plenty of room to give him uh, skinny legs and some shoes, okay? So we're going to start off by making like a U-shape. So I'll turn this around when I'm done. Okay. So I made a U-shape for the body, and I made sure that I left enough room to give him two legs and shoes. So work on that big U-shape for the body. Don't go down too low. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're going to make another U-shape inside of the belly. So we're going to, I'm going to trace this one now. This one goes inside the belly. Okay, so I just made another smaller U-shape inside the belly. Again, before we go to the next step, make sure that you left enough room to add legs and shoes. If not, you need to make your U a little bit shorter. Okay, good. The next step is going to be the arms. So Sonic has some long skinny arms, okay? And we're just going to make his hands nice and simple. They're going to look almost like boxing gloves or mittens, okay? So his arms are going to start right up here, right underneath the head, okay? We're going to make two lines to make two skinny arms. I'm going to do both sides, and then I'm going to turn it around so you can see, okay? So long, skinny arms on both sides. And the top of his arm, this top line from the top of the arm starts right here. Same thing on this side. And then you're going to make another line right here. So he has long, skinny arms. Okay. Now we're going to make two little lines to close off the end of his arms. So just make a short line. A little bit closer. So I just made a little line right there and a little line right there, okay? When you're done with the arms. Now again, the hands, we're going to make them look like boxing gloves or a mitten shape. So that's kind of easy. So let's see if I can come a little closer for you guys. I'm just going to move this. There we go. 
So I'm going to trace this. I'm just going to kind of make like a mitten shape. Make a nice big area like that. And then make a little one for the thumb. So something like that. You do the other side. Make a nice big area, big curve like that. And then a little one for the thumb. Just like that, okay? So do your best. Looks like he's wearing oven mitts. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a few more seconds to work on his on his hands or gloves, whatever you want to call them. We're going to work on his legs next. Again, keeping in mind when we make the legs, don't go all the way down to the bottom because we need to have shoes. He can't really be Sonic if he doesn't have shoes or sneakers. That would make no sense, right? Because what does he do? He runs really fast. So we need to give him some sneakers. So we don't want to run out of room. Okay. So for the legs, again, keep them skinny. Keep the lines close together. Okay. Making sure that the legs are skinny and you leave a little bit of room to give him sneakers. Not a not ton of room, but you need some. I didn't make the sneakers very big. And then I'll walk you through the sneakers. We're going to do a very simple shape, nothing fancy. Keeping it simple. You can always add details to him after if you want. I'm just keeping him nice and simple. Okay. So now that he has legs, we're going to work on his sneakers. So for the sneakers, let me put you up close again. There we go. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make a curve forward like that, okay? So I started right here, and then I made a curve that went forward. Can you guys see that okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, good. So I started right here, and I made a curve that's going forward. And then I did the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to come down. I'm going to make a little line on the opposite side. Just made a straight line down here and a straight line down here for the back of the shoe. That's going to be like the heels or the back of the shoe. Just make a little straight line down. And then you're just going to connect the bottom with another straight line. Okay, connect the bottom of the shoe. There we go. So another straight line to connect the bottom of both your shoes. One's a little bit bigger than the other. That's okay. You're going to make yours look better. And that's that. I'm going to back this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And the only thing left to do are his spikes, but we have to do the spikes a certain way. So please try not to go ahead. Please wait for me for the spikes, okay? Now, he only has three, so you don't want to do more than three or less than three, okay? We're going to start doing the top of the head first. If you notice, the line starts here at the bottom of this ear. So you want to put your finger right here. This is where we're going to start. We're going to start on the bottom of this ear. It's going to go all the way up to almost the tip of this ear. See, it's not quite at the tip of the ear, but it's very close. So we're going to start here. We're going to go almost to the tip of this ear. So let me trace that. Okay, so once again, we're starting here at the bottom of this ear, and we're going all the way up. And you want to stop almost at the tip of the other ear. So stop right there, okay? So quiet. Okay. So now that we have that done, we have to continue this on the exact spot on the other side of the ear. You see how it's lined up? So you're going to line it up. And then you're going to make your first spike. So let me do that with you. 
So I'm lining this up. I think I have it right. And I'm making my first big spike right about there. Okay? And then we're going to make our second spike. So our second spike is somewhere kind of around this part of his face. So we're going to draw that second one. Okay. You see how it kind of points down a little bit? It curves down. So the spikes aren't pointing this way. The spikes are kind of curving downward like that. And then our last one, if you look closely, you can it's in pencil, but you can see it. That one's going to kind of be behind the arm a little bit. So you're going to start that last spike. The arm's going to be in the way. So you're going to stop at the arm, most likely. And then you're going to continue the other side of that spike and connect it to the body, okay? So for that last one, we're going to start it. And the arm might be in the way. So if it's in the way, you're going to stop when you hit the arm. And then you're going to continue it on the opposite side, like that. And then connect it to the body, just like that. So let me go over that again. So for the last spike, I'm going to start it. If your arm is in the way, stop when you get to the arm or the hand or whatever is in the way. And then you're going to continue that spike on the other side and go back up. Like you don't want to connect it this way. So at the end of that spike, you want to make sure you go up and connect it to the body like that, okay? So take a good look. Again, we started here, went up almost to the tip of the opposite ear, continued on the other side of the opposite ear. One big spike here, another big spike, and then the last one, if the arm is in the way, you're going to stop and then continue it on the other side, go up and connect it to the body. All right. So what I want you guys to do, I can't do this because um, I did it in marker. See this part of the head that's between the two ears? So from here to here, this part of the circle right here, I want you to erase that the best you can, okay? So grab a good eraser and erase from here to here, the part of the circle that's in between your ears. I want you to erase it. I can't do it because I did it in marker. I usually do like a squiggly line, but I don't want to do that because it'll make the painting look messy. So I'm just going to leave mine there. But I want you guys to go back with a good eraser and erase this top of the circle spot from ear to ear, okay? Get rid of it. If it looks messy, don't worry about it because the blue paint will cover it, okay? So not a big deal. All right. So now what I need you guys to do... I'm going to back up a little bit. I need you guys to go get a black marker, okay, a Sharpie, uh, any kind of permanent marker. Um, and you're going to trace every single thing. At, make sure you erase this first before you start tracing. You're going to start tracing every single thing that we drew in marker so it looks like mine, okay? So mine's all in marker and yours is going to be all in marker too, okay? So while the kids are tracing their um, Sonic in marker, I'm going to go over all the things that the adults need to get ready for them if you haven't already done so. So, um, see if I can keep this up. So the first thing you're going to need is paint. So let's go over all the colors. Let me just put my cap on my marker real quick. Get it out of the way since I'm done with it. There we go. We're going to go over the colors that you need. So you want to start with white paint. So get white. A little bit of red because it's only going to be for the sneakers. So white, red, lots of blue, blue, a tiny bit of green, any shade of green is fine because it's only going to be for the bottom of the eyes. You're going to need orange. You're probably wondering why we need orange. Well, the bottom of his face, the inside of his ears and the inside of his belly are peach. To make peach, we mix orange and white together to make peach. So this is why you need orange. And the last color that we're going to need is black. Okay? 
So let me repeat that. You need white, red, blue, green, orange, and black. So that's the colors that you're going to need. If you're doing this in uh, markers or crayons, just grab that. Um, unfortunately, you can't really mix crayons and markers to make peach, but maybe you have a crayon or marker that's in a peach color, so that would work. Or um, you could just use a very, very light orange to do the part that's going to be peach, okay? Um, you need a paper plate to put your paint on if you're using paint. You're also going to need a cup or a water bin. Fill it up with a little bit of water. You don't want the water to be too hot or too cold. Somewhere in the middle is good. You want um, a small paintbrush, okay, small. And then you're going to need either um, a paper towel or a napkin because we need to dry our brush every time we rinse, okay? So I think that's all we're going to need for now. So you guys are still tracing. I'm going to repeat that one more time while you guys are tracing. So for the paint colors or markers or crayons, these are the colors that you're going to need. White, red, blue, green, orange, black, okay? And if you're using paint, you need a paper plate, um, something with water to rinse your brush, a small brush, and a paper towel or napkin to dry your brush. If you tuned in late and you want to do Sonic with us, what's going to happen is um, this video is going to get saved in the group that you're in right now, the Casey's Fun Faces Events group. Um, that's the only place you're going to be able to find it, which is in the group that you're in right now. You're going to go under the cover photo. Under the cover photo, one of the uh, categories says photos. So you just go under photos and you're gonna, just going to scroll and you'll see some videos in between the pictures. And those are going to be the, um, the, the uh, painting classes, okay? Because I know the one with the sunflower and the bee is in there. And um, which one did we just do? I already forgot. Oh my God, I've done so many like I forgot which ones we just did. Um, oh, we did the cupcake collage yesterday. So the cupcake collage and the sunflower with the bee is saved in there already. And then this one is going to be saved in there. The other ones we did in the events, so they're not in there. But I will end up repeating some, okay? All right. So hopefully that gave you guys enough time to trace your Sonic, okay? Um, oh, let me go over one more thing before we start while you're still tracing. So donations, they are not mandatory if you cannot afford them. Please don't send me money if you cannot afford it. Save it for yourselves. I'm a small business. I can't work until the restaurant's open because I usually do these in public in restaurants. I can't do any birthday parties either, and I'm not going to go to somebody's house while this is going on to do birthday parties. So they're all canceled, and we'll end up rescheduling. So those are donations just to help me out a little bit. Again, um, if you're home and you're not working either, I honestly don't expect you to be sending me any money either. So don't worry about it. Um, if you do want to send something at the end, um, when I'm done doing Sonic, I'm going to post a picture of the completed painting, and on the side of it, it'll have my Venmo profile, and at the top, I'll put my PayPal email, okay? So we'll worry about that later, but I appreciate those of you that want to or have in the past. Okay, so we're done tracing. We're going to start painting now. The first color that we're going to start with is going to be white. I know the canvas is already white. But I want to make certain areas a little bit whiter. That way it matches the rest of the painting. So grab a little bit of white paint. Put it on your plate. And you're going to take your brush. If you're using paint, grab your brush. You need to dry your brush every single time you rinse it. We do not want to put a wet brush into acrylic paint. Okay? So take your brush and you want to gently dry it on your paper towel or napkin. Do not rub it. If you rub your, your um, brush to dry it, you're just going to end up ruining your bristles. So just be very gentle and press it down lightly a couple of times. That way there's no more water dripping. It should still be damp, just a little wet, but as long as there's no water dripping. That's how you know when it's ready. So then you're going to take a little bit of white, okay? And you're going to paint around his eyes. So this little section right here, that looks like a mask. In here, around the eyes, you're going to add white paint. I know it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, but it kind of gets shiny, so when I'm done, you'll see like the shininess of it. So this section right here, the little mask-looking area, 
go around his eyes. You can kind of see where I'm putting it, kind of in the middle here. And you're going to paint over the marker, okay? When your painting is completely dry, and I stress completely dry, you're going to go back with your markers, and you're going to go over the marker again that got covered up, okay? Don't try to go around it. It's a waste of time because you're going to have to go over it anyway. So don't even worry about that. You're better off just painting over it for now. Okay? So you can kind of see where it's shiny, where I put the white paint. So just around the eyes in the middle here and on the other side, okay? So put some white paint there. Oh, parents, adults, whoever, take the markers away and hide them. Because what happens is people will try to retrace before the paint is um, completely dry and you'll ruin your marker. So take those markers and put them far away, hide them for now. Okay, so we added white paint there. We're going to add white paint one more spot. His hands are going to be white. So we're going to take some white paint and we're going to paint his hands. Okay. So they can be a nice, clean white, nice and fresh. So put some white paint on both his hands. You can kind of see how it's shiny where I put the white paint. Okay, so that little mask area around the eyes and his hands. That's what we're doing with white paint. You do not need to rinse your brush after this because the next color that we're going to make, and we're going to make the color because you probably don't have peach color at home. Um, we're going to take a little bit of orange and we're going to mix it into our white. You might have to add a little bit more white because you want to make sure you have enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more white to my plate. And then we're not rinsing our brush. We don't need to. So I'm just adding a little bit more white to my plate. And then I'm taking orange and on the side of the white, I'm going to put a little bit of orange. I'll show you my plate. Okay. So... I'm going to put this down because if I tip the plate, the paint's going to start dripping. Okay, so that much white and that much orange off to the side. Okay. I'm going to take my brush. It still has white paint on it. It doesn't matter. You don't need to rinse it. I'm going to take a little scoop of orange like that much, and I'm going to mix it into all of my white, all of it. You're going to keep mixing until you get the color peach. Do you guys know what the color peach is? It's kind of like the color of skin. It's like a flesh tone. Okay, so this is the color. Let me put this down again. You don't want it too light, though. So can you guys see that? You can make it a little bit darker if you want, because I don't know how the lighting is. Just make peach. I think I'm going to make mine maybe a little bit darker, so I'm going to get a, a teeny tiny bit more of orange and mix it in there. You don't want it to be too orangey, but you don't want it to be too light either, okay? You'll probably see the color better when I start putting it on the canvas. Okay. So I'm going to start doing his face right here. So the part that's like where his mouth is and his nose, we're going to paint all of this area peach, okay? So I'm going to start by painting over his mouth. I know, I know. We're painting over things. Don't worry. So I'm starting by painting over his mouth. I'm doing this whole section underneath with this peachy color. I'm spreading out my paint to make sure that I don't have any globs. Can you see the color a little bit better? You're going to go around his nose. And don't worry if you get paint on his nose because his nose is going to be black. And if you get any of this peach on the nose, the black will go over it and cover it, okay? Just, just try to go slow, though. So I'm painting this whole bottom section of his face over the mouth, around the nose, and I'm spreading out my paint. So there's a close-up of what I did with that peachy color, okay? And I don't, I don't want to go too fast, but I don't want to go too slow either. I don't want anyone to get bored. 
So if you're falling behind, just keep painting and then just keep looking up at the picture so you can see where I put the colors, okay? I just can't wait too long. All right, so we did this part. Again, we went over the mouth, went over the nose. Make sure you kind of go over the top of the nose a little bit right there. The next um, spot that we're going to add this color is inside the ears only. So not the whole ear, just the little triangle inside the ear, not the whole thing. Okay, just inside the little triangle. And there's one more spot, so don't rinse your brush yet. We're not done with this color. So bottom of the face, little triangles in the ears. And then the last spot is going to be the middle of the belly. So right here, just the middle of the belly. So just the middle, okay? I'm going to spread my paint out. Make it look nice and smooth. There we go. So those are the, the areas where that peach color goes. The bottom of the face, over the mouth, around the nose, the small triangles on both ears, and in the middle of his belly, okay? So work on that. When you're done with those three things, then you can rinse and dry your brush and I'll tell you what the next color is. It's not blue. Okay, so finish that up. When you're done, rinse and dry your brush, and our next color is going to be green. Any shade of green will be fine. And you literally need a dot. Look how small that dot is. It's dripping when I do that, but very tiny bit of green because all you're going to need that for is the bottom of his eyes, okay? So I'm going to take a very small amount of green on my brush. You can hardly see it. That's how small it is. You don't want a big glob because then you'll smudge the eyes. So you're going to paint just the bottom. You can always go back and get more paint. Less is more. Remember that. Start with less paint and then go back and add more. So that one's kind of crooked. I drew it crooked. I'll fix it later. So you're painting just the bottom of the eyes green, not the whole thing. I'm going to try to make this look a little bit better with the paint. There we go. It's a little bit better. Remember, later you're going to go back with your marker and you're going to retrace everything to make it look neat. So just the bottom of the eyes. Make them any shade of green. Okay, our next color is going to be blue. So the blue is going to keep us busy for quite a while because most of his body is pretty much blue, okay? So grab some blue, put some in your plate. I'm going to put this down for a minute so I can put the blue in my plate and then I'll hold it back up. So don't freak out if you're not catch, caught up, okay? I'm just going to put some blue and I'll hold it back up if you're not done with those colors. So, got some blue. Right, so make sure that you've done all of this before you move on to the blue paint. The white around the eyes and on the gloves, peach in the bottom of the face, the middle of the belly and the little triangles, and then green in the bottom of both eyes. If you were done doing all those things, then you're going to clean and dry your brush, put some blue paint in your plate. Okay, you're going to need lots of blue. I always like to start from the top down when I paint because what happens is if you start painting down here, 
your arm or your hand might smudge things or you're going to get all over your clothes or your hands. So you want to start painting from the top of your painting and work your way down. If you're wearing long sleeves like I am, I'm going to roll them up. I'm going to pull my sleeves up. I always like to wear an apron or something old because this paint doesn't come off your clothes sometimes. So just be careful, okay? So again, starting with blue, clean, dry brush. We're going to start at the top of our painting. You should have erased this line. This line should not be here on your painting. I'm going to start with the outside of his ears around that peachy color. Okay, so I'm starting with both ears. And I'm painting around that peachy color. Just like that. And do the other ear now. And this part's going to take a little while. Okay. So I painted both my ears around the peach. Try not to cover it up if possible. Then I'm going to paint this section right here that's in between his ears. I'm going to start painting that. Now remember, that line doesn't exist on you guys, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to start by painting this section in between his ears. So remember, we're starting from the top down. And you're going to get your marker back later so you can retrace all of this. Okay, so I painted the top. I'm going to paint the top of his head. So remember the part that we painted white? We need to stay above that white part. Don't accidentally paint the white. So we're only going to paint the section, and I'm going to trace it so you can see. Only going to paint the section that's above the white. So I'm tracing it first. There we go. So right here, so only paint from the top of that blue line that we traced up. Stay above the white section. Just like this. Okay? And spread out your globs. If you don't spread out your paint, it's going to take a very long time to dry, and then you won't be able to trace it. So you want to spread out your paint, no globs. Okay, good. So we did the top of his head. So his face should be three colors. The top of his head should be blue. The middle around the eyes should be white, and the bottom should be peach, okay? So now, if you've done those areas, when you're done, again, no rush, please. If you're not done, just keep looking up and see where I put the blue. But we are trying to go from the bottom down, I mean the top down, okay? So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to start painting his spike. I like to trace things before I paint them. You've probably noticed that. You don't have to do it that way. I just think it comes out a little bit neater. Plus, I'm painting upside down. So when I trace, it helps me stay in the lines. Okay, so I'm just painting his spikes. I'm starting from the top down. So 
like that. I'm gonna be um now this one you see how that spike kind of goes through his arm on that last one normally we would have to be very careful not to paint his arm but in this case it's okay because his arm is going to be blue so you can actually when you're doing this last spike you can literally paint right over his arm because it's in there i know that's a little confusing so I'm just going to trace that. You can paint all of this blue because his arm is going to be blue. And we traced it in marker. So later when everything's dry, you just go back and trace his arm in marker and it'll, it'll look better, I promise. So honestly, for now, you can just like paint right over the arm. And then got, if the arm is sticking out a little bit like mine, see? I'm just going to go back now and finish the rest of the arm that's sticking out. Okay. So you're going to do that once you get to the spike that's on the arm. The arm is going to be blue as well. So don't worry about it. Just make sure you paint the whole arm if the arm is a little bit longer than where the spike is. Okay. So we're done with his head. We're done with his ears. We're done with his spikes. We started to paint one of the arms because it was right where the spike was. If you're not caught up, no worries. Just look where the blue paint is. You can see where I put it. No need to rush. We're going to paint his other arm. Make sure you don't paint his hands because they're staying white, remember? So I'm painting the other arm. So now both his arms are blue. One of them is in the spike, the other one is not. Okay. And then we're gonna paint his body around the peach. So this area that's white around that peach that we put on his belly, that's gonna stay peach. And you're gonna paint this blue around the belly. I, like I said, I like to trace around things first. Then I'm going to go back. I'm going to paint this blue. It's starting to look like Sonic. Perfect. Look how cute he is. The last thing that we're going to make blue when you're done with that are going to be his legs. So I'll give you guys another minute to work on all of those other things. So let's repeat. Again, you could just look up here, but I'm going to go over it anyway. So I started by doing around both of his ears. Then I did a little section above his head. And then we did um, just the top of his face. So the top of his face should be blue, the middle around his eyes should be white, and the bottom of his face should be peach, okay? So then I kept going with the blue, and I did all three spikes. The arm that's in front of this last spike is also blue, so you can paint right over it, and then finish painting the arm if it sticks out a little bit, a little bit more like mine does, okay? Then I went and I painted the other arm, and then I painted the outside of his belly, making sure that the middle stays peach, okay? So now I'm going to start painting his legs, not his shoes. Do not paint his shoes. I'm going to try to hold this up so you guys can see. 
So not only am I panning upside down, I'm holding the canvas like this. Hmm. Okay, so I think I did a good job. So I painted both his legs. Do not paint his shoes. They're going to be red. Okay. So when you guys are done, let this dry. We're not done yet, but when this painting is all done, I want you to let it dry for at least five, ten minutes. And then you could start adding things in the background or you could paint a background. Um, I've done this a couple of times in public and some people added like um, the rings. They drew those rings that are from the, the game. Some people drew a background like somebody put like dirt on the bottom like he was running in that dirt path or the road, you know. And then they kind of just added like a sky and like whatever, like a background that he would be in. You don't have to do that, but if you want to... Let this blue dry for a few minutes because if the blue is still wet and you start like painting in the background and you touch the blue, it might smudge, okay? So I really, I wouldn't want that to happen. But yeah, you can definitely add stuff to the background. I'm not going to do that with you today because it takes way too long. But feel free when this is done to go add a background. And you can be creative. You can go on Google and look things up. All right. So when you're done with your blue... And again, if you're not done, don't rush, finish, just look up here. You're going to grab a dot of red because the only thing that's going to be red are the shoes. Don't waste paint, okay? So a dot of red on your plate. Clean, dry brush when you're done with your blue. And you're going to paint his shoes. And then we have one more color after this. See, I touched, you see how I touched the blue a little bit on that one? So you're going to have to be very careful. I want you to let that blue dry before you start adding any backgrounds if you decide you want a background. Because if the blue is still wet, you'll smudge it onto that other color. And it's hard to fix. Okay, so red shoes when you're done with all of your blue. And then we only have one color left. Well, kind of two, but... You're just going to need black and a tiny bit of white for the rest of this painting. So a little bit of black and a dot of white. Because remember we used our white to make peach, so you probably don't have any white left on your plate. So you want to add a dot of white, which you don't need to do right now. And then a little bit of black when you're done with your blue and your red. You need to finish your blue and your red first before you start using the black. And I'll give you guys a little bit longer to finish. Okay. Oh, so while we're waiting, I want you guys to ask your children what they want to paint next. I want you to comment on this video. And I want you to type in what kind of things your children would like to paint. Give me some ideas. We still have, I have two more weeks at home, if not more. So this is only the first week and it's not even done yet. <laughs> so please comment while we're waiting. Let me know what your kids want to paint. You can always message me too. Like if your child thinks of something afterwards, feel free to message me some ideas, please. Okay, so we're just kind of finishing up the blue and adding red sneakers. And then we're going to move on. Oh, Minecraft, that's already on my list. So we will be doing a Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, I can't even say the word, sometime toward the uh, middle or end of next week for Minecraft. Tails of, ooh, that's really cute. Somebody actually asked me to do a fox, but I could do Tails the fox. Hmm. I'm going to definitely look into that and see if I could do a simplified version of, of Tails. I like that idea. 
Perfect. I haven't even seen the Sonic movie yet. I heard it was really good. My teenagers went and see it. They said it was is excellent. Um, Disney Princess. I'm doing um, Elsa tomorrow. So if your children like Elsa, I will be doing Elsa tomorrow. And I think I'm doing Moana next week. Unfortunately, I'm going to be replacing the American Girl doll one. It doesn't seem to have uh, much interest for American Girls. I wish it did. So I'm going to be replacing the American Girl doll with um, probably Moana for Wednesday. And I'm doing Elsa tomorrow. The Salamander from Frozen, he's pretty cute too. So we'll probably do that at some point. Yeah, he's adorable. I just have to think of like easy ways to draw things because when I do these for the public, a lot of things I have stenciled out in advance for you guys. I can't really do that for you from home. So I try to think of things that aren't too hard. Pokemon, okay. So Jen, we did a Pokemon collage um, last Sunday. It should still be posted inside of the Pokemon event. If you have trouble finding it, let me know, okay? Um, Roblox, I'm going to look that up. I'm not exactly sure what Roblox is, but I've heard of it, so I'll look that up. Um, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to do Cat in the Hat because Dr. Seuss's birthday already passed. It would have been nice if it was like a couple of weeks ago, but I'm probably not going to do Cat in the Hat now until next year. I actually tried that at a public event. I didn't have that many people. Okay. okay, so that should give everyone hopefully enough time to catch up on the rest of these colors. We're going to move into black, so grab a little bit of black paint. Make sure that your brush is super dry. And we're going to start by painting um, just the top of the eyes only. Go slow, take your time, paint the top of the eyes only. So just the top, go right up to the green. Again, we're going to fix all of this with a marker later, okay? So just try your best. And he's not going to stay looking freaky like that. We're going to add like a white dot in his eye later. So just paint it all black for now. And make sure you don't glob on the paint. Make sure you kind of only use a little bit of paint. If you have too much, try to scrape some of it off, okay? So the top of his eyes. We're not done with the black yet. Samson, you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Come over here. Let's say hi. Oh, look. Up here. Say hello, everybody. This is Samson. <laughs> Oh, good boy. Yes, my baby. All right, go sit down. <laughs> go sit down now. And yeah, now he thinks he can be over here. Go. All right. <laughs> He's all excited now. So cute. Okay, so we did the top of the eyes black. And we're going to do his nose. His little jelly bean nose is going to be black as well. Okay, so coloring his nose black. And then we're going to do one more thing with black paint. Isn't he cute? He's almost done. I love Sonic. Brings back some childhood memories of me playing video games with my brother. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do with black is going to be tracing his smile. So don't press really hard with your, um, your brush for the mouth. If you press too hard, it's going to be too thick. So don't press hard, okay? Just put a little bit of paint on your brush and be gentle. Don't press hard with your brush and just trace his mouth, okay? And then we're going to do that little curve at the end. Don't forget to trace that little curve. So trace his mouth like that and don't press too hard. How cute is he? Okay, and we're going to do one more thing, so don't go anywhere yet. One more thing before we finish him. 
When you're done with your black, rinse your brush, but we're not going to use the bristles for our last part, so don't worry about getting all the black paint off. Just rinse it and dry it so it doesn't drip everywhere, okay? So I'm rinsing. I'm not worried about taking all the black off because we're done with our bristles. And I'm just going to dry my brush because I don't want it to drip all over my painting. We are going to continue to use our brush. See the bristles on top? We are not using them, so they're pointed up to the top of the ceiling. We are going to use the back, the bottom of our brush. Mine is stained from using it from yesterday for something else. Oh, from the sunflower, little black dots, that's what it's from. So make sure the bottom of your brush is clean. Grab a tiny bit of white. Put it in your plate a tiny bit. And then what I want you to do, after you put a little bit of white in your plate and your brush is clean and dry, I want you to very carefully, without touching it, blow on the eyes a little bit. Just blow on the eyes or kind of take your painting, make sure you don't whack anybody, and kind of just go like this. And help those eyes dry for a little bit. So either blow on them, don't pass out, or just kind of wave it back and forth very carefully that you don't hit anything or anybody with your painting. You don't want to get paint on them or smudge your painting for that matter. So do that, maybe like 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do, again, using the bottom of our brush, not our bristles, we're gonna dip into white paint. So white paint on the bottom, and you're gonna put a white dot on the black part of his eyes. So right there. Someone's at my front door, so my dogs are going to go crazy now. Good timing. It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. I just finished the painting. Not a big deal. <laughs> Good timing. All right, so you're going to take your, your bottom of your brush. You're going to dip it in some white paint and make two dots on the black part only like that. See how much cuter he looks? Those white dots make a huge difference. So what you guys are going to do now is you're gonna let this blue dry for maybe five, 10 more minutes. And then if you wanna add stuff in the background, you can start painting your background, okay? When your painting is completely dry, oh, your dogs are barking now, that's hilarious. <laughs> Her dogs hurt our dogs in the background, that's funny. Uh, so let the, like I said before, let the blue dry a little bit longer, then start painting stuff in your background if you want to. And then let the entire thing completely dry. I'm sure you can find something else to do for about a half hour after it's done. And then you can go back with your markers and outline everything. So you're pretty much going to start drawing Sonic all over again. Go over everything that we drew with that marker. You can see all of your marker through your paint. So that shouldn't be a problem. This line should have been erased so you guys won't have that line there, okay? All right, so give this some time to dry, and you, I want to see these. So you can post them in my group. You can message them to me. You can post a picture on Facebook and tag me, whatever you want to do. Uh, my real name, my full name is Casey Miranda, so you can, if you're friends with me on my regular Facebook, you can tag me on there too. But I, I cannot wait to see these. I'm going to let mine dry for a few minutes, trace it. I'm going to take a picture. Thank you guys so much. Have a good afternoon. Bye.